Today on China Uncensored, I'm really disappointed in you, America. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. You know, once again, China has shown the U.S. just how backwards it is. The U.S. presidential elections are tomorrow, and the 18th Party Congress is Thursday. That's when China has a once-in-a-decade transition of power. And you know, they just got it down. They know how to keep things harmonious during politically sensitive dates. I mean, just today, I got in a cab, rolled down the window, and went to the store and bought a ping pong ball. And it's the day before the election. I mean, think of the damage you can do with a ping pong ball. Not to mention a taxi cab window you can roll down. That's why in Beijing, you can't do stuff like that. They've had all the taxi cabs rip out their window handles and they've banned the sale of ping pong balls. I mean, what if someone were to write a reactionary word on it and throw it out of the taxi? It could go anywhere. Anyone could read it and who knows what kind of thoughts they might think. But the Chinese regime isn't stopping there. Officials are doing everything they can to ensure that they aren't going to be bothered while they're having their meeting. Want to buy a knife? Too bad. A pencil sharpener? Who the hell do you think you are? A remote controlled plane? Come on. Really? And for all you homing pigeon fans out there, don't think they've forgotten about you. No pigeons allowed in Beijing. Meanwhile in the U.S., people are walking around with sharp pencils in their pockets that could write anything on anything. There are all kinds of unsavory characters out there, like me, who might be planning to release the 35 homing pigeons they've been training for the past six months to carry vote for Herman Cain messages strapped to their leg. I think it's time we all pack our bags and move to China because we're probably not going to have a country by the end of the week if we allow these kind of shenanigans. Wrapped scallions with ping pong balls just walking around. Is that what George Washington killed all those British people for? Think about it, America. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored. Vote Herman Cain.